Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm hunting shark teeth at a different location. I thought I'd have better luck trying somewhere else in the quarry. So I've kind of put that one to one side because I'm I've only ever found one shark tooth and it wasn't a complete one. Um, so I thought it's a beautiful day today. You guys can see it's quite sunny. Um, so I thought I would give it a go um, hunting some shark teeth. So let's see what we find. So this is what we're dealing with. I aim to get here two hours before low tide, but I'm here five minutes before low tide because I decided to sleep through my alarm, but we should still find some good stuff. So I'm at the water's edge. I have no idea if I'm looking in the right place, but I've got my hefty hammer and I'm just sort of like moving around the pebbles and the mussels, seeing if I can spot any teeth. So I know they're here. I just don't know exactly where and I believe they're in the muddy stuff and they're black shark teeth so they're kind of very well camouflaged so this could be fun. <laughs> I haven't found a tooth yet but I found possibly the weirdest but coolest shell I've ever seen. Like it's teeny but look at the detail on that. I think it's pretty cool. So still hunting for teeth but no luck yet. So we're trying to spot any sort of looking spike thing that might be a bit more shiny than the mud. It's really hard to do, especially when the mud is still quite wet. So, can't see anything in this lot. So it may not be whole, but I have found my first tooth. So the important bits there. So I'm literally using my hammer as a trowel right now and just trying to spot the teeth. So I'm in the right place, I have one. <laughs> You can understand why these are so hard to spot because they're literally the same colour as the mud. <laughs> so you're trying to spot just a little spike or something shiny but that could be any of these pebbles or shells so it's quite a tricky thing trying to find these teeth but I'm happy I found something. See if we can spot any in the water as it's going out. This will be really annoying if I put this video up and you guys spot teeth that I can't see right now. Because <laughs> by the time I've edited it, I won't be at the beach anymore, which will be sad. So you can see here that it just camouflages itself amongst the pebbles. So now that the sun's come out and dried them off a bit, it's a bit easier to see because the tooth bit is so shiny and the rest of the ground is dried out, whereas when it's wet, it's also shiny, so it's next to impossible. But there we have it. Not quite a whole one, but pretty much there. And the tooth part's there, which is the important bit. So, ta-da! Some shells are just so pretty. I know I'm looking for shark teeth, but I can't help but admire some of the shells here. They are really something. Look at the colours and the stripes on that. It amazes me how all their shells look different. I need to do some research into why that is. It just looks so cool. So I'm going to class this one as a whole one, even though it's not like fully whole, it's better than what I found before. So this is the best find. I've got back to my car now because I wanted to film more on the beach but the tide was coming in quite quickly and I had these two little boys who wanted to know just about everything about anything on the beach um, so I decided to spend some time with them so I thought I'll just play it safe, go back to my car and show you guys what I got. So I did actually end up having quite a bit of luck finding shark teeth. I think I got the hang of where you find them because originally I was digging in the clay to find them but you actually, you kind of just need to look around the pebbles but you need to literally stare at the same spot for like 10 minutes to spot them because they are so well camouflaged, it's a joke. Like I was impressed, I even found some teeny tiny ones. I don't know how I spotted them, but you kind of, once you spot a few, you spot a few more, if that makes sense, you get kind of, you get the eye for it. Um, but yeah, I'll show you what I got. And I also, I think I found an urchin, um, a very, very worn one, but it's got the right shape. I don't know if it is, but it might be, but it, yeah, you can't see any of the detailing on it, so I just thought I would show you guys that I found it, but I'll probably leave this one on the beach for someone else to enjoy, because um, I love it when you have the detailing where you can see where the spines were. Right, I'm going to turn my camera around and you guys can see what I found. 
So this is what I collected today. So it's not loads, but it's a nice amount, I think. And this is my best tooth, I would say. So these are from Sand Sharks, I believe. Um, this one might be something different, but I don't, I'm not very well knowledgeable about my shark teeth just yet. It's something I'm looking into. Um, but I think they're really nice teeth actually. And this one is so teeny tiny. <laughs> Look at that. I don't know how I spotted it. And then I just picked up these lovely little shells. So I showed you this one, it's so unusual. And then I liked this one because it has a tiny hole in it, like naturally. So I thought I could use that maybe in some jewelry making. And I just always pick up sea glass. There's just something so pretty about it. Um, so I thought I'd pick this lovely little green one up. So um, yeah, that's what I found today. So that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. I really do hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you thought of my finds. I'm just so chuffed I found shark teeth, to be honest. And this one, it's pretty whole, I'd say. And I definitely think it's a sand shark. Do correct me if I'm wrong, but it does just look very much like the pictures I saw before I came. I did a little bit of research so I could know a bit more about what I was finding. So I think these are the commonest ones you can find here. But um, yeah, I'm very chuffed. It's more whole than the last one I found, which was missing like half the top bit, but I'm very happy with this. So um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Let me know down below what sort of videos you'd like in the future. If there's any specific locations you'd like me to go and explore, I'd love to do that. So um, yeah, let me know in the comments, but thank you again for watching and subscribe for more. So I know I just concluded this video, but I was just having a really strange thought about this tooth, just thinking about how it used to be in the mouth of a shark and now I'm holding it after like millions of years. And I thought that was kind of cool. <laughs> like, it's just crazy. Maybe I should just, you know, 